Hey, this is Dr. Rayleigh. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about using the web portal for my uh, website. Um, we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure how the resolution will be. Anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to go into the patient login. up here in the top, right there, and we'll click on to the patient login, and then it'll come down here and it'll show you a uh, home phone and login name, and so what you'll do right in this spot is you'll put in your, uh, the number that we have for you as your home number and also your insurance ID. This will be on your card. And then you'll log in. And so this is a, a test patient, but what it allows you to do is to change your family password. And right here, here you'll see uh, the test patient. And uh, so just click on uh, your family's name, whatever child's name. And then you're, you'll see the screen here. And this is a, really a pretty cool screen because this allows you to uh, see when the last checkup was, the immunizations they had, uh, any prescriptions they've been on, their drug allergies, and then more importantly, least if you want to give me a message is messages to the office and messages from the office and or then in, and then also a list of the family members so in messages to the office you'll click here and then you'll notice down here here's a box and uh, you'll get reason for the message and if you want to make an appointment or you want referrals or a form or other and in fact what we'll do for other is that will be a message and we'll just use that if you have a message. And then down in this box here, you'll be able to click and say whatever you want to say. Um, the, uh, this is kind of like a text or a, a Twitter, so to speak, meaning that you can, uh, it's a brief message, only 100 characters are allowed, and that includes uh, a space or a, uh, a period, uh, etc. So if you have a brief question about your child, and, and most questions, um, can be brief. If your question is too long about your child, they probably actually need an appointment. And if you'll just type this in, and we'll just uh, type in uh, something nondescript. We'll just say fever. And uh, then just hit send. And you don't have to put the child's name, birthday, anything, and you'll just send send. And then that message um, has been received. And that, and that comes right to my box at my office, all right, to my inbox. And so kind of depending on what I'm doing at that time, I could be able to respond to that almost in real time. It, there may be some delay, and it may take me five or ten minutes to get to it, but this will be much quicker than a, a phone message. You don't have to uh, leave a message. We may not have to call you back, leave a message. You call us back again. And uh, I think going forward in the future that this is how I'm going to do all email communication, including on the weekend. This allows for a more HIPAA-compliant uh, email communication. And uh, I, it'll, this will allow me to answer questions uh, more accurately from you. I'll be able to have information about your child at my fingertips when I'm answering questions on the weekend and at night, including during the day. So as we go forward, I would like for my patients to try to use this more and more, rely less on the phone calls if possible, and hopefully at some point in the future, you will also be able to use this to request appointments, uh, same-day appointments, and then also schedule your uh, any well check you would like to. So, And then what you will receive is a message to the office, and then there will be a response messages from the office, and if you'll see down here, these are all the uh, messages from the office, like Jennifer, Brooke, Brian, Brian Zock, obviously me, and uh, so this is how it'll be. You'll be able to uh, 
see exactly what the message is. My messages will be brief also, and you'll have a running uh, list of all the messages and responses, so you'll be able to go back and look at these messages to try to, uh, if you remember a, a question that you asked, but you don't exactly remember what the response was. So that's what's really pretty cool about this. So going forward, let's see if we can do that. And uh, hopefully this will be something that uh, will work very well for you all. Okay, thanks. Uh, and uh, we'll be getting more information in the office and out on the website for this too.